brother and sister. And today I talked with Swain's other brother in Douglas, Georgia, to get his reaction to all of this. U.S. Marshals escorted Carl Swain out a side door of U.S. District Court this morning. He was shackled and showed little emotion as he looked toward our camera. He told a federal judge that he was not guilty of killing his brother-in-law, Specialist John Eubank, a Fort Stewart soldier. According to the indictment, this appears to be a murder-for-hire case. Oh, yeah, I saw it. That was Matthew Hurst's reaction when we spoke this afternoon. Hurst says he, Eubank's wife, and Carl Swain are all siblings. He says they all have the same mother but went through foster care at an early age. Hurst says Carl has had a troubled past and he's tried to distance himself from him. I'm a black sheep in the box. I just thought I want to make better on myself. Hurst says there's much more to this case than authorities are sharing with us, and it's certain that more people are involved, and it's only a matter of time before that comes out. Now, this is a case punishable by death, but it's not clear yet if the U.S. Attorney's Office will seek the death penalty that would have to be approved by the Attorney General's Office. No bond was requested. However, Swain's attorney did ask that he be transferred to the Chatham County Detention Center so he's closer than Statesboro because that's where he's being held right now. Reporting live, Alyssa Hyman, WTOP.